my god. Oh my god! So, Doug, is it? This it's is showing white that the light around it, that corona. Is it yellow, white, golden? What are yes. you seeing? It's white. It is white. It is pure white. Uh, it is pure white. Oh, and I see down to the down to the bottom of the of the sun, you can actually see a solar flare. Wow. Oh my God, I didn't, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to see it with the naked eye. I think. And we're by the way, that solar flare is is dozens and dozens of times bigger. The solar flare is dozens and dozens of times bigger. Than the than the Earth itself, I mean, oh, that, really? just just the so. Oh, look at that to the bottom! Oh my gosh, that's just. It's hard to see from our vantage point, but there's definitely this glow around the sun. And what yes. other activity can you notice from your and vantage again, point? Yeah, that is. You're talking about that glow around the sun. That is, and now we're seeing a little bit the way of of what's called Bailey's beads. I think that's what I'm seeing anyway. Bailey's beads are actually when the sun starts to move through some of the mm -hmm. valleys uh, of the moon. And you can actually see that there. But there's a definite solar flare on the bottom side of the moon. Wow. That is really, really incredible. But that, that glow that you're talking about, on that white glow, that is the corona. And the corona is the sun's atmosphere. Wow. I mean, we're looking at the atmosphere of the sun. Yeah. That's why NASA, NASA is using this as a time to study the, Earth, or the sun's atmosphere right now. At its uh, we've darkest, seen so many Doug. different telescopes that are out here. Yeah. Oh. Did it seem like nighttime, like midnight to you on any typical night? Did it get that dark? Yeah, it, it, it's almost like, Jim, I tell you, it's almost like a, like a summer night, 9 o'clock at night, where gotcha. you've got off in the distance, I can see light. Because yeah. you got to remember here, this is not very wide. I mean, when I say not very wide, the path mm -hmm. of totality back in 2017 was about 60 to 70 miles wide. This path is about 120 miles wide. Wow. So okay. I, I'm looking down past. I'm looking 100 miles away, and it's still sunny over that area because they're not seeing yeah. totality. So that's why. We're, okay, and here it comes here. Here it comes on the other side, guys. So I'm going to have to put the glasses back on. Sure. What time do you have? What? Oh, my gosh. Look at the. Oh, we my gosh. We can see it moving, too, Doug. Oh, my we gosh. Can. Look at the that diamond. There's phenomenal. the diamond. Oh. There's the diamond. Oh, we got to put the glasses put back on. Put the glasses on. on, Doug. Oh, wow. What a show. <gasps> Look at this. Wow. What a show Oh, my goodness. Just wow. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. I just. I just. I can't even tell you. I mean. How incredible that was. And to have this many people here viewing that. Yeah. Wow. We can hear Oh, the my gosh. And this is just going to continue, guys. What a This show. is just going to continue. And we still have, I mean, let me look at it again here. We've got that little sliver. That's all we have. We have a tiny, tiny sliver. Uh, and that's all we have. And, again, I was just looking at Venus. I was just looking at uh, Jupiter. They're gone. I can't see them now. Well, I mean, that, that's, that's what we've got. Yeah. And, and just think about what we've got we literally had the moon if you can think about this look at you, you literally just had the moon go across the, the uh, our sky between us and the sun that is what is causing this uh, it really is fascinating